guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jerby from Culture Sobby. In today's video, we will be having yet another vaping video. And for today, we will be talking about this Switch Convertible RDA and RTA set. I actually have the dripper attached to my RX Mini. Anyway, if this is something that you would want to see, please keep watching. Okay, so before anything else, let me show you the unboxing video of this Switch RDTA and how to build the Switch on both RDA and RTA. Hey guys, so here's the box of the Switch RDA slash RTA convertible atomizer. At the back, you can see some details about the product. And here, you can see the serial number. Inside, it actually packs a lot. Okay, so we have this bag of O-rings with some spare screws. We have two spare glasses. Ito yung deck nung dripper, I suppose. And then, here is the RDA. And here's the tank. This is the 510 adapter. Drip tip adapter. Okay, let's check more of the tank. That's the serial number. Baklasin lang natin lahat. Okay, so that's the airflow cover. Okay, now that I finally got the glass off, here's what it looks like inside the RTA. Okay, you can just twist it off. And then get the pin right off as well so that you can put in the deck for the RDA or ng dripper. It actually screws in quite easily, so you don't have to have a problem with that. And then just put the cap of the dripper right on top. Okay, so just have to unscrew it back kung gusto mong bumalik sa tank. Now, there's a trick right here na sometimes when I put the tank with the pin, na stuck siya during screwing, so this is what I normally do. I just put the pin first and then screw back the deck para hindi ako magka problema. Okay, just to note, sometimes I do get a hard time screwing back the deck of the tank. So sometimes nasa stuck yung pin niya, I don't know why, hindi ko siya mas screw pa balik. So this is what I do. I don't get that problem in screwing the deck ng RDA or ng dripper. It just screws very smoothly. But for the tank, here's the workaround that I realized. Okay, so for the tank, if you have problems in screwing it back in, just remember to put in the pin first before you screw the deck back to the base. So in that way, mas mabilis siyang screw, hindi siya mas stuck and... Yan. So let me just put back the juice flow cover. And the glass. And the upper chamber. So 
So for today, I will be using my usual Cantal A1 wire and I will be using a 3mm build. So I normally use 6 to 7 loops. Okay, let me just straighten the legs like so. This is how your normal coil would look like. Yeah, lang, since the building deck of this switch RTA is a little different, you have to bend the legs in such a way na para kumapit siya dun sa screw ng building deck. And it's a bit tricky with this deck. Medyo iba yung positioning niya ng Okay, so here's how my coil looked like. Para magkasha siya sa deck. Actually, this deck can accommodate so many kinds of coils. You can check Paradigm Mod's Facebook fan page. He normally posts different kinds of coil art that you can use for this switch RDA slash RDA. But for me, I'm just using a regular wire. And here's how my coil looks like, and it works perfectly. So after screwing it in securely, let me just cut the excess leads. And there you go. Looking nice and neat. So let me just put some cotton. For today, I will be using this Ango Rabbit vaping cotton. I was told that this has no break-in period, no break-in time. It's my first time to use this, so I hope it works. I hope it's okay. Okay, so let me just cut a little cotton, but thick enough for your coil. Okay, once that is in, just cut the excess tail. Make sure everything is still fluffy. And the trick here is to fold and tuck the ends and securely cover the holes para hindi siya mag leak. So you have to be very patient with this. Wag lang bara bara. Just remember to fold and tuck it in. Tapos, just tuck it in neatly. And then do it on the other side. When you're done with that, you can put the juice flow cover and then ayusin mo lang yung cotton mo para walang nakalabas. Now you can juice it up. For today, I will be using this Once Juice Skittles flavor. This is one of my favorites, so let me just juice up my cotton. 
You have to be very generous. Okay. So, let's try it out. I think it's burning pretty much okay. Actually, hindi ko na tinest yung coil before putting the cotton kasi single coil lang siya. So, so you have to remember to test your coil first if it's burning correctly from in to out. But I'm pretty much confident with mine, so I didn't test it anymore. Okay, now that is done. Let me put back the glass and the upper chamber. And let's fill in the tank. Since wala siyang kasamang drip tip, I'm using my favorite Goblin Mini V3 Micro Tip for this. And it's on 30 watts. And there you go. Now for the dripper. Actually, binild ko na siya. The build is so much similar like Goon. So, hindi ko na siya dinemo dito. You can just check my Goon video. and Andun yung build tutorial niya. It's exactly the same. The clippings are the same. In here, I'm still using my Cantal A1 wire. Still using a 3mm coil build. And then, since ito, dual coil siya, you have to make sure that both coils are burning at the same time and burning the right way. So, from in and out, nasabay. Kasi pag di siya sabay, the, the cotton won't be burning well, hindi magiging okay yung vaping experience. So, now you can see na okay na siya, pantay na siya. If hindi siya pantay, you just have to strum it with your ceramic tweezers, rub it a little, pisil-pisilin niya siya, yun yung tinuro sa akin when I was learning before sa vape shop. And magiging okay din siya eventually. After that, I just put my cotton, still using Ango Rabbit Vaping Cotton for this. And you have to be very generous. And you have to make sure that the holes underneath are really covered with cotton. Kasi kung hindi, baka mag-leak siya. So for today, I am using this steam nutty cereal juice. There you go. So it's burning quite well. Let's try vaping this. All right, there you go. Did you enjoy watching that? Actually, the tank is a little more complicated than than what I'm used to. Okay, so since the dripper is what's attached on my mod right now, let me just share with you my review on the RDA. Okay, so I'm firing it at 40 watts. Right now, I'm using this steam nutty cereal. Well, actually, this is built for cloud chasing. It has bottom airflow and side airflow. And the side airflow, you can adjust it to single or double. So, meron siyang from here and here. Or, it's fully adjustable. Pwede isa lang. You can just twist the upper knob para makover yung isang hole. And then, turn it. Turn it a little more. Para... Para dalawa sila, expose. Okay, and then turn it a little more para isa lang yung exposed. Or, what I like doing is, both of them, both of the holes are half open. So, ganyan. Kasi, if super rami airflow, wala na akong natitaste na flavor. And I really like um, flavor chasing. So, that's what I do. So, you get a little bit of flavor and you have a lot of cloud. So, let's just try it. Super mausok siya. But the flavor is still there. 
with this kind of coverage, airflow coverage, you don't really sacrifice the flavor. But you get a lot of like fully loaded clouds with it. Also, it's good to note that the switch, although it has a default wide bore tip, I'm not really into wide bore tips. So I was really happy that they included this 510 adapter that you can put in here. And it easily pops in. So you can put your preferred drip tip. I normally use this micro bore tip from my Goblin Mini. And I'm sure you've seen this in my Instagram. Kasi ito yung preferred build ko. Maliit lang yung panghiko. Super, super lakas niya. The clouds are really thick. It's actually enjoyable to use this. I I don't normally like using drippers. I prefer vaping with a tank because I don't refill the refill. But yeah, it's kind of dried out. Na siya. But this is kind of the diameter. Niya. I think this is 24 millimeters. So the juice well is a bit shallow. Maybe it's just half a centimeter. Pero the trick here is you have to put a lot of parang dapat siksik yung cotton. So you have to make sure na it's really packed. And you have to make sure that it's really wet to get the most out of it. Okay, now that we're done with that, let me just show you how I can quickly convert this into a tank. And let's try out the tank. Okay, so tinagal ko muna siya sa mod. So this is the base and you just have to twist this. Okay. There you go. So you just have to twist this away from the base. Let's just put it here. And then, get the base of your tank. I'll just juice it up first. Now the trick here is, kailangan ikabit mo muna siya, kasi sometimes it's stuck to from here. Hindi mo siya mas ng maayos. So what I discovered was, kailangan ikabit ko muna to from here. I guess one downside of this tank is once you pop this in here with the glass, you can change the amount of juice flow na. Because here's the juice flow hole. Okay. And then before you pop this back to the base. Because sometimes, kapag inuna mo yung base, kung nasan yung deck, nagsastock siya. I don't know why. So, this is the workaround that I've discovered. And So, you just have to twist it tightly para... There you go. This is a top fill tank. So, after you've placed those compartments together, we can now fill in with juice. I love that it has three like refilling holes. Okay, then you can put the top cap. And since the tank doesn't have its own tip, I'm gonna use my favorite goblin. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna use my favorite goblin micro board tip. There you go. So for the tank, there's only bottom airflow control. 
And also, I realized, kapag naka-tighten na siya sa mod, nahihirapan akong i-adjust yung airflow holes. So, I have to unscrew it a little, luwagan ko siya, before I can adjust. Well, actually, better kung tanggalin mo muna siya. And then, adjust your airflow hole. Since wala naman siya ibang airflow, I like to max it out with my tank before you put it in your mod. And this is a, again, 24 millimeter um, tank. Kaya meron siyang overhang. But it's okay. Hindi siya mukhang masagwa. It actually looks very nice with my mod. So, thank you so much, Paradigm Mods, for sending me a very pretty set. Kasi I know there's a black one, but I actually prefer silvers. Silver colored um, RDAs or RDA. Okay. So, I filled it half. Hindi ko muna pinuno. And, uh, still firing it at 40 watts. Okay, let's try this. Okay, the flavor is so much more magnified with this one. Still, it gives off a very decent cloud production. Also, I've read comments from some users have experienced leakage. So, one workaround with that is to make sure that your build is sick sick ng cotton. Uh, just as what I've showed you earlier in my clip, yung build nun is still the same build in here. So, you just have to make sure that the holes are really covered with cotton. Huwag kayo mong ripot sa cotton. <laughs> I've never experienced leakage. And as you can see, even with this setup, even in this tank, the cloud production is still really, really solid. Diba? Ang lakas ng clouds niya. But what I've read is that itong tank is made for flavor and the dripper is made for cloud chasing. But to me, both, both gives me, well actually the flavor is really better here. But both gives me a very decent amount of clouds. I guess another thing to note about this tank, it's a little tricky to build. Um, the setup in the middle where you put the coils in is a little different from what I'm used to, but you can easily learn it. Second, sometimes um, it gets hard to remove the top cap from the refilling hole part. So, medyo nahirapan din ako dun. And there are also times na nahihirapan talaga akong baklasin siya. So, those little things you have to get used to, but other than that, the performance, the flavor, the size, the build, it has weight so it doesn't feel cheap. The build quality is really great. Um, I just wish that there are some ridges here, dun sa part na refilling holes, para may grip when you twist it so that it's easier for you to remove it. But other than that, this is really, really good. I mean, I can't say anything else about it. I'm really enjoying the flavor that I'm getting from this tank. I'm really enjoying the clouds. Hindi ka mapapahiya. See? It's very decent. can't do O's. By the way, for this build, I am using this Anger Rabbit vaping cotton. In fact, you have to stay tuned in my next vaping video because I'll be giving away these. Dami, diba? These were sent by Anger Rabbit to me a couple of weeks back. Marami lang talaga akong backlog kasi nag-travel ako and it's kind of hard to catch up. But anyway, I'll be having five winners for these and I will be giving away three packs to each winner. Yan, para loaded ka ng cotton. 
And it's really good. It seriously doesn't need break in time. As in, pag ko sa kanya, ginamit ko na. No, no, no nothing. The flavor is really amazing. But anyway, I will be talking more about Ango Rabbit in my next vaping video. So stay tuned for that. Anyway guys, I guess that's all for today. Did you enjoy watching this vaping video? I know you guys miss my vaping videos. And again, thank you so much to Switch to Paradigm Mods for sending this over. I really enjoyed your product. If you guys are interested to buy this, this is sold for 3,000 pesos. I will link their Facebook down below so you can get in touch with them. I know they have a little promos here and there, so you have to stay tuned through their official Facebook fan page. And I guess that's all for today. And stay tuned for my next video because that's where I'll put my Ango Rabbit giveaway. Anyway, bye guys!